Knitters. It's January 28th, 2016, and I'm here to say hi and check in and see how you're doing today. Uh, I have some things that I finished. I have some things that I'm working on, and uh, I have a couple products to share with you today that um, are kind of newer to me, which is fun and exciting. And I also have a gigantic fun giveaway for you today that I couldn't pass up because it will benefit a lot of you out there, quite a few of you. It's a, it's kind of a, an exciting giveaway. Um, so I'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, I, if anyone's interested in, in this, I'm wearing my Agnes um, sweater that is designed by um, Melissa Labar. It, it came out through Quince & Co. quite a while ago, the pattern did. <clears throat> Excuse me, I have a, a little bit of a cold, so I'll try to uh, make sure I'm speaking up <laughs> a little bit so you can hear me. But um, this is knit in uh, Puffin, which is kind of a single um, ply felted 100% wool. And I love it. It gets kind of squishier and cozier as I wear it. It pills quite a bit. I don't know if you can see some of the pilling, but it's sort of like the more I wear it, um, the more it pills and the happier I am <laughs> about it. It doesn't bother me a bit. I like it. I feel like it gets cozier and cozier as the years go by. Um, but this was a um, sweater that I, um, the neck came up really high on my neck and, and kind of was more almost like a boat neck. And I don't, that's not really my favorite um, style of sweater as far as the neckline's concerned. I should have put in some short rows, but I didn't have the foresight to see that. So um, I, I put in a steak down the center. I cut it apart. I did a crocheted steak. I added on a button band and this um, collar here in the back. And I put on these big, cute uh, wood buttons that went along with the bark colorway of the puffin. And um, these wood buttons are not from the Wally Mostards. It was from some other Etsy shop. Um, I've had them quite a long time, but they're, they are really cute. They're kind of a cut branch style button. So anyway, I wear it all the time. It has cute little pockets here. Um, that are on the side of the sweater. And anyway, I adore it. So it's a great pattern, very easy. Um, I would just throw in some short rows on the neck if I were going to make it again. Um, other than that, it's fantastic. So um, I guess I can start with some finished projects that I um, completed since last time I talked to you, which has been quite a while. I haven't podcasted for quite a while. I finished a pair of socks. Um, Joanna of Nispin Farm sent me some hand spun sock yarn and uh, oh, I just, I could just eat it up. I love it so much. It's, it's from the Quillen Fiber Arts um, Etsy shop and um, this, it's in the Owls colorway. Um, it's 100% Cheviot um, fiber and what Joanna did was extremely clever and I want to do this too because it would make the spinning really fun I would think she divided it in half she spun half of it in a marled three ply so just kind of um, has barber pulling and the colors just kind of all melded together and then um, she spun the other half so she did a three ply half divided in half did three plies and just spun them together <clears throat> this one she um, kept the um, colors intact by doing, um, spinning it in one long um, ply, one long singles, and then she did um, Navajo plying on this one to keep the colors intact. So this was more of a striping yarn. And so what I did was I striped these two together. Really, this is this weighs only about six, um, six grams left. It's very kind of light and airy. Um, so I knit almost the whole 100 grams of it. I think it might have been over 100 grams. And um, I knit the socks on my um, DPNs from Carbon. They're Knitter's Pride Carbons. They're six inches in the US size one, 2.25 millimeter um, size. And I like them. They're not as fast as maybe the all metal or the all or the all nickel plated or the um, signature DPNs. They have a little bit more of a grip on them, but I, I like them. They have a nice point. It's not too sharp. Yeah, 
I like them. They're good. They're good. <laughs> I'd use them again, but I don't have my so I have my socks on. So here, let me see. Ah, there's one. And let's see if I can show you the other one. I'm in a bad, bad position. Here. Let's see if I can get the other one on. Show you up here. There we go. There's the other one. So they are really cute. Um, you can see how they striped. I used the um, the one where the colors are intact, the Navajo apply one for the heel, toe, and the cuff. But I love them. I'll be washing them often. Um, <laughs> really excited about them. It's fantastic socks, and that was a really fun treat to knit such beautiful hand spun that was so finely um, created. Um, so this one thing that I've finished, I um, finished have finished three toy projects for Alana Dacos Never Not Knitting. Um, um, pattern line that the printed pattern line that she sells to local yarn shops and to um, festivals and all kinds of places. She's de debuting my new patterns along with I'm sure a bunch of her other um, designers new stuff at the Stitches West which is coming up in mid-February in California. So if you're going to be at Stitches West pop into Alana's booth and say hi from me. Um, I think a lot of her designers are gonna be there, like Carrie Bostick Hogue is going to be there. Um, Hannah Fedig's gonna be there. I wish I could be there, but I can't. I, I have something else planned um, right for that, or right around that time. It's kind of gonna be a hectic time for me, so I'm not gonna be able to go, but I wish I could. Maybe next year I'll be able to go out to Stitches West and hang out with Alana in her booth. That'd be really fun. Um, but let me show you the three new um, toy projects that I have coming out through um, Alana. Um, and they'll also be available in my Ravelry Pattern Shop on um, February 1st. So that will be um, really fun by Monday, maybe even sooner. I'm not sure, but the, I went along with the woodland theme. Here's my first one. He's a little kind of like mischievous <laughs> raccoon, cute as cute can be. Um, it's probably six or seven inches tall. Uh, I made it in Quince Co. Osprey um, in the Crow, Egret, and Storm colorways. And I love his little tail. The whole thing is knit in one piece. The only thing that's not um, knit in one piece is you have to seam, um, do a quick whip stitch seam around the neck here. And that'll take you 30 seconds to do. Um, super easy. The rest of the um, limbs and things are picked up and knit right on. So he's just adorable and his cute little eyes are safety eyes. And I just took a quick straight stitch over the top to kind of highlight them in the black uh, stripe there. So I'm really pleased <laughs> with this guy. So that's Raccoon. The next of the Woodland theme one is this adorable little turtle. Um, I had such a fun time <clears throat> designing this pattern. Um, he is knit all in one piece. You knit the legs first. So you have four legs and the stitches are live on um, waist yarn. And then you knit the body and you knit these right in as you go. And then they're just right in there, really nicely in there. They can't be pulled out because they're knit right in. And then you just decrease and knit a little bit more and decrease down here for the cute little nose. And then um, I did a separate shawl knit from the in the middle out here in Noro Kirion. You could use all kinds of fun, colorful scraps of your nori, Noro. You could even stripe it up here. Um, it's a great play for this um, solid wool. This is Quince and Co. Lark in the, I think it's the Sweet Pea colorway. Um, of the lark and um, then I just did a did a really quick running stitch with um, one of the ends here I cut a long end and did a quick running stitch around right right above the pico um, edging here on the turtle so these are two more to add to the um, woodland toy patterns I've done a fox I did a woodland fox a squirrel that one with the pocket with the acorns in it and I did, um, I've done an owl, I've done a bunny for her. So there's a whole woodland set kind of um, through the um, NNK Press and also available, of course, on my Ravelry shop. They're just available for download too. So um, nothing, I'm checking to make sure my camera doesn't turn off because it keeps turning off on me. I cleared out a bunch of stuff. So we'll see if I can keep it going here. And then the other um, pattern that I came up with for Alana to kind of round it out and 
um, she suggested this to me that I do something um, like a sea life or I haven't really ventured into that too much so I came up with this adorable octopus this is knit out of worsted weight this is Lorna's laces um, shepherd worsted which is a really squishy fun colorful yarn and I just love it and um, this is knit in one piece you start up here at the top and then you um, increase out, go knit straight for a bit, decrease down, and then there's a really fun way that these are knit right into the work as you go, and it doesn't take too long to do, and then you close it up at the bottom and you're done. So it's all one piece. There's no fiddly <clears throat> um, knitting eight legs for an octopus and then stitching them all on. It's all, it's all kind of um, cleverly done there for you. And then I knit a little one um, to use out of a mini skein. Um, a fingering weight yarn or leftover um, sock yarn that you might have. It takes, oh, very, very little. Maybe, I haven't written in the pattern, but it may be like 10, 10 grams of sock yarn or fingering weight. And this, um, I did have a cord on this, and this can be used as a, um, <clears throat> an ornament, too. Um, so this is just going to be called Octopus. So I have three cute, new, fun patterns coming out feeling really excited and good about them. So that was very productive, um, a productive stretch there for me <laughs> behind the scenes uh, toy knitting. So that's fun. The turtle was kind of hard to get a good photograph of because when something's really flat, you know, uh, like this, you can't sit it up cutely and get kind of a cute picture. This, this guy really does sit up though. Um, but anyway, I think I did. I think I managed to get a couple of cute photos of it too for the pattern. So. That's fun. So those are some finished items that I've been kind of working on behind the scenes. Some things that I'm working on um, right now. I um, had put a picture of this yarn. Um, this is the another Crafty Girl. Um, Ponky Brewster is the color way. I bought this at SSK the first time I went, which I think was in... Was that in 2013? I think that was the first time I went and I bought this and I haven't used it yet. It's just brilliant. The colors are rich and fun and deep and um, I want to knit a little shawl out of this and I started a shawl, I'm going to say I started a shawl five times and I knit quite a bit on it. I was really experimenting um, and I ended up pulling it all out but um, I am still uh, all set to go on that. I just have to start it one more time. <laughs> I even have my needles waiting, sitting right in there to, to get that going. So I'm going to get that going. Um, it's just 100 grams of her um, a fingering weight yarn, but it's just a, an amazing colorway, and I really want to get that going. So that's in the works. Maybe not so much as stitches, but it's in the works right up here. <laughs> I had finished a sock. Um, and I posted this on Instagram. This is the um, Twist Light from Madeline Tosh in the Modern Fair Isle colorway. I did the toe, the heel, and the cuff in, um, I'll hold it back a little bit so you can see it better, in um, red uh, Regia. It's the Forfotic Tweed um, color. It's just the brown. I can't remember the number right offhand, but it's, it's just adorable. I love it. I did an extended afterthought heel. I knit these from the toe up. I have something really exciting coming up um, concerning toe up socks, so I'm doing a lot of experimenting and working on that, and I'm sure I'll be able to talk about that um, fairly soon here coming up, so I'll tell you more about it, but I am going to be, all the information I'm gathering is going to be available to you um, really soon. So I've had some questions about my toe up, how I make my socks, because I have that cuff down, how I make my socks, and people are um, have been curious about um, this and kind of why I'm doing it. But so I use Judy Ma Judy's Magic Cast on, and then um, an extended afterthought heel on this. Super super simple. Um, the other sock I'm oh so I am working on the second sock for that right here. It's on my needles. I'm on the cuff. I probably have three more inches of the cuff, uh, the leg, excuse me, and then I'll put the brown cuff on and then I'll come back and do the afterthought heel and that, and that's going along swimmingly. Um, I'm at the heel of this patchwork um, Arnie and Carlos sock. Uh, I keep making slow progress on this, so I just pick up and knit 10 or 20 rounds here and there, and this is the finished one of this. 
This, I used a different heel. Um, it is a toe-up sock. I used um, a heel out of Lara Neal's Sock Arch Architecture book. It was the one just with the increases and decreases um, of, for short rows and not um, no wraps and turns in this one. You just use um, increases and decreases. And that's really fun. I modified it a little bit. So I'm going to, I'm trying to, I, you know what the problem is now. I can't remember exactly what I did. So I took some notes in the book as I was <laughs> doing the first one. So now I've got to decipher what I did and, and remember how to do it for this one. I did enjoy doing that. And I, and it was, it was very nice and easy. And I do think that's a very nice heel right there. So um, I think it's more complicated, much more complicated than doing a simple um, afterthought heel like this. Um, if you're just kind of wanting something really simple, this this is really probably the way to go. Um, and, um, you know, the other one I haven't tried is just to do that round heel, um, which would be, and you could do a round heel and round toe, toe and that might be a very nice um, matching pairing. Um, it's more like the... Um, the top of a hat, the decreases at the top of the hat. So I might try that one next. Um, so I have that, all that going on. I started a really fun and beautiful sweater. It's called the, uh, let me look over here at this real quick. Um, I have the Snitter's Pride Pattern Keeper that I've been using and I really like it. Um, it has little magnets and it's called the Wolf River Sweater um, Pullover and it's by Melissa Shashwari. Shashwari? I think it's Shashwari. She goes by Dandelion Girl Designs. Oh my gosh, she's amazing. But it's this patterned um, pullover. And I have a little bit done, and it's just squishy. I haven't got, I haven't been able to work on this too much because I've been working on a lot of other um, projects that have deadlines. But I'm knitting it out of my gigantic <laughs> ball of empire by um, Jill Draper. Uh, Jill Draper makes stuff. It's this. Um, oh, it's the best. It's gigantic. Um, it's like a 1,200 yard skein of yarn. But look at that beautiful patterning. The yarn is just oh, so squishy, so I'm anxious to get back to that. I really haven't knit on that for quite a, quite a bit, but that's something that's on my needles. I have another um, fun project coming up, and I'm so excited about it, and I just received yarn to play around with. I got a bunch of Quince & Co., um, and I'm excited because I got some new colors that I haven't worked with. Now, um, that maybe looks like honey. This one is Aleutian. That's what I did the one, two, three chickadee shawl out of. This is, of course, Petal. That's one of my favorite colors. But this is a new one to me. This is called Shell, and it's kind of a deeper, sort of more of a mauve color. Um, that's pretty, even with the bark colorway. This one, too, is new to me, and this is called Nightshade. It's kind of a burgundy purple color. Um, and then I have these three too, and this green is new to me too. I haven't used it. That's the pomegranate and the egret, and I have a sweater in that pomegranate. But this color is really appealing, and so I'm knitting a project <laughs> with all of these beautiful colors. I think um, the person I'm working with said she was going to send me some more too, so... Um, that will be fun and interesting. I'm really looking forward to that and excited to get all those wound up. And these just came like this. I love that someone did these hand um, wound <laughs> balls of yarn for me. I think that's super fun. Um, a few other things that I'm thinking about is, um, you know, I have this gray pair of tweed socks. And they are the Regia um, Tweed tweed Trend and Classic Um like this and it and I had these hundred gram um, balls of that and then I also have the Regia Forfadig um, tweed and I used some of these I did the peat hat um, and I used a little bit of these colors but um, I have enough still for a pair of socks because I just did some stripes in that hat um, but um, you know I have these gray they're a light gray tweed sock in this same yarn and 
I love those socks. I wear those socks a ton. I probably wear them most of any of my hand-knit socks. So I want to do just some plain tweed socks. Um, and so I'm going to start knitting some of these up. Um, I mean, they are really beautiful. I love tweed. I'm crazy about it. I have some indie dyed tweed too, and I want to um, start knitting up some of that too and just do some solid plain socks. Um, you know, just for fun, just to change it up a little bit. Uh, a couple products here that I have that I wanted to um, talk about. Um, the lovely Renee of um, the Lowland Originals sent me these fantastic double pointed beetle. Um, they are holders, like they're lar much larger than some of the other smaller ones that are really only about, you know, an inch and a half um, in depth. These are really quite long and um, wide in um, depth and she suggests um, putting you storing your double pointed needles in these and she sent me two of these lovely um, cases that she has that's the Lowland Originals it's on Etsy and uh, this one is patchwork and I love all her fun and crazy fabrics so you want to check those out if you're interested um, her shop is on Etsy Lowland Originals um, but she suggested just putting a rubber band um, around your sets of needles and then you can plop them in here and store them or of course you can use it for you know as a project keeper like put your project in there with your double points and then you can snap that right in and throw that in your bag and then your double points don't stick through things and get all messed up too so it really has two two uses that one so thank you Renee those are Beautiful, your work is gorgeous as always. Um, one more thing, and then I'll talk about the giveaway really quick. Um, I have all of these fun rulers, and um, I wanted to talk about these quickly. Um, the first one I wanted to talk about is the sock ruler. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I um, just in light of all these other rulers too that I have, I thought I'd just pull out all of them. This is a sock ruler. It's especially nice. Um, I find them especially nice for a toe up sock, but it's also nice too um, for a cuff down sock. You can use it as well. Um, but the measurement, mine's getting so long now. It goes up to nine and a half, 10 inches, I guess is the length here. And um, you can measure your sock a lot more accurately because as you can see, it fills out the sock. So you're not kind of just kind of measuring on the outside. Um, and it's just, it's really handy. I love it. And that's available at SockRuler.com. There are also some kid sizes of these. Um, um, sock rulers now these it just has the inches on it. It doesn't tell you the sizes um, shoe size to inches so Recently I ran across this and this is from I got this at knit picks and um, I think I saw Paula talking about it on the knitting pipeline and so I had to check it out and I thought oh my gosh I could really use that but um, it has the sizes for um, U.S. and inches, centimeters, um, European and, and Mexican shoe sizes, and then the inches that it would be. No, it has the U.S. shoe sizes, sorry, and then inches, centimeters, um, European and, um, oh, and European and Mexican shoe sizes too. I'm sorry, I haven't looked at it closely enough, but it also has the sizes for women, men, and infants and children. So this is super handy because if you're um, making shoes for someone else and you just know what size shoe they wear you can just look it up on here and figure out how what the length of your sock should be so that's really cool and then last but really not least at all um, the brilliant Ann Bud has come out with Ann Bud Ann Bud knits she has come out with this clever gauge ruler so it just has an inches here along the bottom end of it and I don't have probably a good angle um, to show you here but what you do is you to figure out your gauge it has the um, let me see how I can show this to you in a good way it has stitches and what you do is you line up your um, obviously I'm not gonna be able to do it right now but you would line up your stitches 
So let's say here I'm getting, um, oh, I have it backwards. Let's say here I'm getting eight stitches per inch. What, what this would do is the stitches on here, this is an inch, would match up perfectly on here. So I can see if I'm getting eight stitches per inch. If it doesn't, if the stitches, you would start at one stitch and then if it doesn't match up as you move along, then you would move to another size and um, gauge here in stitches per inch and then you would um, figure out your gauge from there. But those are just amazing and um, maybe I'll try to show that a little clearer again at another point through photography or maybe a quick video um, on that. But and Bud, genius, all around genius, as we all know already. So that's really fun. I love to see that she has come out with a clever product. It's absolutely perfect for her. Okay, so um, I've kind of come to the end of my um, list of things that I wanted to share just today. It's not going to be a super long podcast. But um, I want to finish with a big bang because um, the, um, the U.S. distributor of the Arnie and Carlos Regia sock yarn lines, I think they have three out now, um, but she contacted me and um, it's from Shock and Meyer Regia, the Arnie and Carlos um, various um, beautiful striping socks. I grabbed a few pair of mine that had been um, freshly washed out of my drawer. Um, so they're like this, they're stripy and fun. And this one I did a contrast heel, um, heel, toe and cuff. And um, it's gonna be, and this, these are the purple ones um, that I did too. I gave away a pair, so I've knit four pair of them already and I just love them. Oh, and I didn't even say that, um, oh, I dropped it. The little um, octopus, this is an, um, some leftover Arnie and Carlos too that I did, so that's really sweet and fun. But the good news is, for all of you, um, the, there is an opportunity for 12 winners to win. Um, it'll be their one 100 gram ball of the Arnie and Carlos um, sock line. It could be either the first line or the second line. Um, and from the first line or the second line, and or it could be two of the 50 gram um, balls of yarn, which look more like like this. They're small. They're smaller, but you would need two balls for a pair of socks. So, um, I have I get to select 12 winners for our, um, some Arnie and Carlos sock yarn. It will be from either the first or second line. It's going to be just kind of a grab bag, like you kind of get what you get, which but you literally cannot go wrong. They're all <laughs> so gorgeous. These are all from the first line and then these two, which I haven't knit up yet, are from the second line. So um, I'm super excited about it. Thank you so much much to Regia and Schockenmeyer for providing this fantastic opportunity. Um, I will, when I post this on my blog, please leave a comment over there on my blog. Um, and just enter to win and tell me why you love Artie and Carlos so much and what's not to love. They're so wonderful and um, fun and talented. So um, 12 winners will be selected and um, that's pretty exciting because that's a huge giveaway. Um, and I think I'll sign off and I'll try to upload this and I made it through in one shot, which I'm pretty pleased about. So um, you all have a great uh, end to your week and weekend. I'll try to get this up as soon as possible. And um, good luck. Fingers and toes are crossed for um, you all to win some fantastic uh, Arnie and Carlos sock yarn to knit your, own, knit your own pair of socks. So mwah, I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.